Hi, welcome to Vlogmas day three. We are going to tackle the last three trees and then I'm gonna see what else I get into. I don't think that there's gonna be much more than that today just because today is a really busy day for us. But I wanna go ahead and get those other three trees done. Um, we got this one in the back room here. Um, we got one on our front porch and then a mini tree that I want. I'm thinking in the back library dining room, um, but let's go ahead and get rolling. I fluffed this tree off camera, um, so it's already ready to go. So let's get this room decorated and ready for the season. Now that we got lights added to it, I wanted to take a second and apologize. Yesterday, for some reason, my video wanted to blip at around the one minute, 45 second mark. Um, I don't know what happened, so I will watch for that today. Um, any of my tech friends know? I don't. <laughs> um, so I will keep an eye out for that um, and try to make sure that doesn't happen again. But thanks for continuing to watch. Um, your time is important to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, it really helps out, especially during Vlogmas. And I appreciate you and am so grateful to have you here. Let's get back into it.
All right, now the tree has the majority of the decorations on it. I do need to pick up some hooks or something like that because this tree, for some reason, does not like holding the ornament balls like the other trees do, where you can just kind of press them into the tree and it grips them. Um, so I'm gonna get some hooks and different things like that so that I can fill it in just a little bit. But for now, it's got my favorite ornaments on it. Um, these are the ornaments that we've collected over our marriage, minus one or two that are on the main tree in the house. Um, but these are some of our favorites through the years. Um, and so I love putting this Christmas tree up. Um, last year it was a blue tinsel tree um, because we do a whimsy tree is kind of the theme it started out as um, back in 2011 when we first put it up. But we are transitioning kind of out of that phase. The blue tinsel tree is kind of on its last leg so it's gonna go on the front porch. It's barely standing as it is. So let's go ahead and put up the stockings in here and then this room will be done and then we will move out to the porch and get that room done. Let's continue on this journey. Now that those are up, this room is done. Other than adding a few more ornaments to the tree, but like I said, I gotta get some hooks for that. I am looking for some more stockings similar to those and a matching letter for Kaylin. For now, let's go ahead and continue on outside. All right, now we're outside. I'm gonna put the tree right here in front of this window. Um, there is a plug from some other Christmas lights that are all on timer, so I don't have to worry about turning it on. Um, so let's go ahead and get that tree set up. All right, so now we got the tree lit. I'll try to insert a picture over the next few days of it at night so you can see it all lit up. Same thing with the outside of the house, but it's all plugged in. I'm not gonna put any decorations on it because they're gonna blow away because you can see the wind blowing. Um, and it, it's just really pretty. It adds a little bit of color on the front porch. And as long as it lasts, this is where it'll go. <laughs> So that sweet husband of mine went digging through the basement and found one more <laughs> um, village light. So let's see if it works, cause I'm not too sure. It don't look it like it works. So I think we're still gonna have to go to Walmart. Um, a friend of ours, Pam, longtime family friend, lover, hi Pam, um, suggested that Walmart sells these replacement cords in four packs. So if you're needing them, Pam says go to Walmart. So I think we'll be making a trip to Walmart. I'm probably gonna pick up some more bulbs too. Um, but this one unfortunately doesn't work either. So it is what it is, that's what happens, they wear out. Um, so. 
but on to the last Christmas tree. So this last Christmas tree I got at Walmart. It's teeny tiny. It was $10, so not bad. I'm just gonna fluff it and put it in a handy dandy harvest basket. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put it in our back uh, library room, dining room. Um, that room's been so many different things over the years. Um, but I'm going to get it decorated, so let's do that now, and then we'll figure out where it's going from there. Now a trick that my dad showed me many years ago, we had a tree that the branches weren't even attached, they were color coded and you kind of pieced it together, which I actually think is still my favorite tree. Um, but he would have you um, kind of pull everything down like I just did, and then you take the branch and you tuck it under your arm and you kind of pull through, just because it gave it the most natural um, fluffed look so it wasn't so um, perfectly branched down. Um, and evenly spaced and then it's ready to go. So I'm gonna put this into the basket, find the place for it, and then put some decorations on it maybe. Um, kind of depending on how it looks, we shall see. So let's get it put where it's going. So I didn't like it in my back library room. It just didn't quite feel right. I'm on the hunt for a tall, really skinny pencil tree for that. Um, I'm hoping after the holiday season when they're on sale that I can find one for that space just because everything feels a little too bulky um, and where I'm kind of wanting to put it, uh, I think that would work better um, and maybe even for year round. So I'm going to tuck it here in the corner and see how I like it. All right, so I think that's where I'm gonna settle with that. I really like it in here. Um, it adds just a little bit of festiveness down lower, um, and it's really easy to move if I decide that I don't like it there once I get to cooking in my kitchen and things like that as time goes on. So you'll have to stick around and see if that's where it ends up. I'm not gonna add any ornaments to it. All the ornaments I have are all too big for this size tree. Um, I'm gonna look and see if I have any ribbon already on hand that may work for it. I don't think I do, so I'm just gonna keep it simple for now, see if there's something that I like down the line, um, but who knows. That is all I've got for you today. Again, we have a huge busy day ahead of us. We have church this evening, um, and I'm really excited for that. So I can't wait until tomorrow when I see you again. But until then, bye for now. <laughs>